So what do you do if you want to go fast with the wind in your hair, but you don't like convertibles? I don't know. This 1970 Dodge Charger provides a speedy alternative to those who like the great outdoors, but not the feeling of a twisty convertible chassis. See, this one was built with a factory installed sunroof for an instant hairstyle change when you put the hammer down. We should probably clarify that statement a bit. The sunroof wasn't actually installed on the assembly line when the car was built, as Dodge pulled these cars from the line and sent them to subcontractor American Sunroof Corporation, or ASC, to do the installation of the sunroof, and then the car was returned to the plant for final assembly. So it was an option you can order when buying your new Charger, and only 112 1970 Charger RTs were built this way. Part of the reason for that low production was the cost. That big hole in the roof added $461.45 to the price of your new $3,700 Charger RT. So it was quite a chunk of change to see the stars at night. But a convertible was never offered in this body style. So for those who like to be closer to nature while burning rubber, well, this was the next best thing. But this car is far more than just a sunroof oddity. The whole thing is awesome, starting with the stunning plum crazy purple and white color combination. The vinyl top was mandatory with the sunroof cars, and we really dig the white over white interior. The hood is partially blacked out with a 440 callout, and chrome pins keep it latched at high speed. And 1970 was the last year for this Charger platform that debuted in 1968, with the signature 1970 change being the chrome bumper surrounding a horizontally divided grill. And the taillight became kind of a one-piece looking ordeal, but they didn't change much else on the car. And after all, why would you mess with a nearly perfect shape? We show a lot of 426 Hemi cars here on Muscle Car of the Week, but truth be told, many Mopar fans prefer the 440 Magnum, especially the six-pack. These things make tons of torque, they're nearly impossible to break, they were cheaper than the 426 Hemi, and a lot of these cars were faster than their dome-headed brothers. Specs on the Charger RT440 Magnum include a 375 horsepower rating, from the 10.1 to 1 compression all iron big block V8. These breathe through the six pack system of three two barrel carbs and a hydraulic lifter cam kept things fairly smooth while still developing 480 foot pounds of torque. The driver was in control of the revs on this one through the four speed manual transmission topped with the always cool pistol grip shifter. A 323 rear gear is a great compromise between off-the-line go and good highway cruising RPM. The white interior featured leather seating surfaces on the high back bucket seats, and a cool full-length console framed out the four-speed shifter. We also dig the steering wheel in this one, and the dash is stuffed with the rally gauges, with a still running 8,000 RPM tick tock tack beside the 150 mile an hour speedometer. And you can note that there's over 88,000 miles on this one, so it was definitely not a garage queen. Fuel, temp, oil pressure, and alternator gauges are off to the right, and heat and AM tunes round out that wood grain dash. The sunroof action happens with an overhead power push button. Charger RT suspension was a bit tighter thanks to different shocks and torsion bar tuning with front disc brakes, rally wheels, and raised letter tires. These cars had a great stance and they handled the road with stability and comfort. After all, that's what the RT package was all about.
Well, it's that time again where we thank the Brothers Collection for letting us play with their toys and pander to viewers for likes and subscriptions and all that stuff. We thank you for watching and we hope you come back for another cool episode of Muscle Car of the Week.